All righty. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game one of the Spitballs Fireball series. It is a battle of the balls here in the Mario Sluggers League playoffs. And it's sure to be an interesting series. So it looks like, dang, the Spitball is going to be starting Red Critter as their pitcher. The Spitball, or the Fireballs, have had some difficulty hitting off of him in the past. And just like that, Yoshi, the quick out at first. But so far in the regular season, the series is 2-0 for the Fireballs. So hopefully the Spitballs can maybe get something here in the playoffs. Because it's best of three, so they have a little bit. Oh, no, that's going to drop right in there. Wario misses it. Best of five, my, my apologies. That means three games to win. Red Critter right now pitching some heat, and Mario gonna hit that one way up. That is going to be caught by Blue Magic Koopa. <laughs> Did not use his staff on that catch. Oh, end up anyway. oh, and Yellow Yoshi. Yellow Yoshi has been turning up this season. Yellow Yoshi did nothing in Season 1, but in Season 2, he has been showing up to play. And now, Donkey Kong with the RBI chance. Look at the Fireballs GM expressing their displeasure with this. Like, Donkey Kong has not been hitting very well during Season 2, but looks like we're going to see the defensive shakeup from the footballs. And Waluigi coming back in, no surprises there. Their signature pitcher. It was honestly a little surprising that Waluigi didn't start, but Donkey Kong's got some good eyes. Well, as I was saying, <laughs> watch is there. That's going to be, ah, oh, two strikes and the two balls, but DK swings at the ball. That's going to be a big stand for the spitballs, not allowing any runs. And now it's their turn on the offense. So green magic people are gonna be starting things off and oh uh, look at that immediately with the hit beautiful start there for the spit balls and now King Boo up to bat King Boo's been known to hit some some dingers in his day and today's not one of those days caught immediately by Mario green magic we're gonna hold up at first and now Luigi and Waluigi <laughs> We know the Spitballs last season were the Knights, and Luigi was replaced for Waluigi as the captain and strikes him out right there. That's got to feel good for Luigi. And now Red Critter, speaking of pitchers for the Spitballs. Red Critter, kind of a surprise this season. You're not expecting him to go out and pitch like that, but uh, that's more like it for Red Critter. Hasn't had the best bat in Season 2. And Season 1 for that matter, but... He was hoping maybe things would change if he switched teams, but apparently things are not changing for his bat. But now we got Dixie Kong in, and Dixie Kong has, she actually has been batting very well this season, to the surprise of many, but commentator's curse, baby. <laughs> now we got Tiny Kong up to bat. Tiny Kong, another one who's been able to get in the runs when they need him. Tiny Kong is MVP in a few of the regular season games, but just no one can get their back going against Waluigi. And that's the story of so many of the Spitballs games. The Waluigi, of course, won the Pitcher of the Year for regular season. And, I mean, he's not... Oh, <laughs> Red Pianto is not happy with that. But yeah, Waluigi is not going to ease up on the, on the gas. While Luigi's putting on a clinic right now. Let's see if Luigi can maybe pitch as well as his arch nemesis. And look at that, he's <laughs> throwing ball after ball. I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Now we got Wario up to bat. Wario watches that one float over the plate. Oh, and there we go with the bomb. Oh, almost wasn't fast enough, but did he threw, hesitated and threw it to second. And we got Boo up to bat. This team has everyone who Luigi hates. He's got Waluigi and the Boos. Poor Luigi. The Spitballs just really didn't like Luigi, so they traded him and then built their team around his enemies. <laughs> These really are their enemies because they got Luigi and then K. Rule for Donkey Kong. Mm -hmm. Yes, Luigi did in fact win most improved. And he's showing why right there. Holds him scoreless again. Still no scoring so far in this game, but maybe things will change right here. 
but Waluigi still at the mound, so that is unlikely. Not many balls get hit with Waluigi on the mound, unfortunately. Gonna be ruled a strike. Oh, Luigi with the high bunt. Oh my god, but Red Critter. Oh, Red Critter was lost in the sauce, but he just dove. He went for that one. Oh, Yoshi. Oh, Yoshi with the great hit, but Wario put everything he had into that one. <laughs> great play from Wario. And look at him, he's happy with himself. Hitting a little dance in there. Oh, and Diddy, again, gonna hit this one sky high. And that's gonna be switching sides. While Luigi's strutting off the field. It looks like Brown Critter's gonna be up to bat. He is a known home run hitter, so Luigi's gonna have to be careful here. But swings at the first one, that's gonna be lopped up, caught by Diddy Kong. And we got Green Magic Koopa. The spitball season started to turn around ever since he brought in these two Magic Koopas. They're excellent relief pitchers, and they're also decent for getting base hits just like that. Because the Critters sometimes have a hard time getting on base, but the Magic Koopas have been really excelling in that for the spitballs. And there we go, King Boo floats that perfectly in, drops it in, and Green Magic Koopas run it. Green Magic Koopas going home, and he's going to make it. The beautiful hit from King Boo helps Magic Koopa run all the way home. God, it just had that perfect placement, and then it had just enough time to roll to the back. I mean, Diddy Kong's not really known for his strong arm, but... Aww. King Boo's happy with himself, and Luigi's tired. He's gonna have to come out next inning. Now, Waluigi with this try. Oh, and Waluigi, the nice hit, but caught by Diddy. That's gonna be the double play at first. But that is big for the spitballs. The spitball score. So now see if the fireballs answer offensively. But I do believe Waluigi will still be in this inning, so... So it's not likely. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe since I said it, it'll happen. And look at that! <laughs> Mario, be a beautiful hit! Three Magic Koopa uses his rod to suck that up. But it didn't even matter. And we got Yellow Yoshi. Maybe Yellow Yoshi can make something happen. He's been a pretty decent player this season. To the surprise of me. Oh, and look at that! Perfect example. Oh, and Mario going three. Mario's gonna make it. Runners on first and third with no outs. This could be big for the monsters. The monster? The fireball, sorry. Unfortunately, DK's up. Looks like the Spitballs thought about a defensive switch up, but decided against it. The fireballs have gotta get something with DK here. And, oh, they almost did, but the double play! Wario is just barely tall enough. Wario's been popping off. He's been getting all the outs for the spitballs. If they can manage to get a hit off Waluigi, Wario is there to get them out. And unfortunately, now the story is extremely different. With only one runner on third. But if they can get a decent base hit here, they could be running Mario in. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Mario makes it home. And Dixie going to make it to second on the double. Dropped in there. Oh, yeah. Blue Magic Koopa went for his wand, but it hit the ground too fast. Wasn't able to use it in time. And Waluigi's tired. That's big. He'll have to come out. And another RBI chance with Tiny Kong up to bat. Dixie on second. Oh, we're going to see Waluigi coming out now. Oh, my. K. Rule coming in. The 250 pound Croc of the West coming in. And, hey, it's going to work. Hit it perfectly to Brown Critter, and look at him. <laughs> God, Brown Critter. You gotta love him. Gotta love him. And looks like Red Critter will be the leadoff batter. Luigi does have to come out. It's good for the fireballs to remember. And looks like Mario's gonna be coming in. Often the story. The relief pitcher for his younger brother. And the captain of the fireballs, too. But it looks like, yeah, right now the score tied 1-1 one to -one in the fourth inning in the playoff game. And Mario going to be pitching some heat, but oh, oh, just barely went under Yoshi's feet. Oh, that one just barely slipped by Yellow Yoshi in a rare mishap in the field for Yellow Yoshi. 
Doesn't happen all that often. Now Blue Magic Koopa gonna be out at first, but does advance Red Critter to second, and he's <laughs> thought about going to third, but the quick fake out. <laughs> Look at him, he's scratching his head there, but now Wario's gonna be up to bat. This Wario gets a big hit. This could be huge for the Spitballs, but unfortunately he's going to strike out. They still have one more chance to run Red Critter home. And that chance is going to be coming with Boo, and Red Critter going to steal third. But yeah, very smart. He goes back to second. And now Boo. It's going to be two strikes, and that's strike three for Boo. So unfortunately, Red Critter will have to walk in from second as we switch back to the fireballs on offense. It looks like we got Red Pianta up to bat. Okay, he was red. We were just colorblind. And it looks like, yeah, Waluigi's still gonna have to sit for this inning, so it'll be interesting to see who they throw in. We commonly expect Boo to be the relief pitcher, but who knows? We've seen we've seen K Rule just this game, we've seen Red Critter. And it looks like right now we'll be seeing Wario. <laughs> so Boo has not not actually been on the mound today. Surprisingly, but Red Pianta gonna sail that one foul. It's gonna be two strikes too, though, and that's gonna be strike three. <laughs> oh, and Wario's happy! Oh my God, Wario low key packing a dump truck. <laughs> not even, not even capping. Oh, ah, uh, but uses the scepter to grab that. I'm no longer gonna make any more comments regarding Wario. <laughs> Great catch from Green Magic Keep in the outfield. Speaking of great catches, King Boo just snagging that. <laughs> Mario. Gonna waddle in back to the dugout. It's probably hard walking around with all that cake, but. What'd you say, Peyton? Oh, sorry, I sorry, I broke my back. Okay, uh, K Rule up, speaking of cake. And he's going to two quick strikes for K Rule. He watches the ball go by, that was very smart. Gonna hit that one foul. Big hit for K. Rule here would be very nice, but unfortunately, he's gonna strike out. And now Brown Critter in. Everybody's favorite critter. It's gonna be two quick strikes, and that's gonna be strike two. And Mario is just feasting at the mound. <laughs> now maybe Green Magic Koopa can get something going for his team, but right to Mario, out of first. So that means. We're going into the sixth inning, so that's going to be two more innings left for scoring, or else we're going to extra innings. Awesome over here grooving. Oh, and Diddy Kong, the beautiful hit. Going to be able to get on base. Sail that one right through everyone. <laughs> and those big base hits are huge, but fortunately, it's going to be caught by Green Magic Koopa. And yellow Yoshi back up. And Yellow Yoshi the hit, but good thing K Rule's 7 feet, 450 pounds, was there to catch that. <laughs> no balls getting past K Rule. <laughs> oh, and Donkey Kong sails it! Oh, that could be out of here. Boo running in for the buddy jump, but Green Magic Koopa catches it! We, we were about to see the home run from Donkey Kong. The first home run that he would have had in his career, but caught by Green Magic Koopa. The first homer he would have had this season, but caught. Very unfortunate, but it's a great play for the Spitballs. They still hold them at, tied at one apiece. It's gonna be, despite King Boo's best efforts to run fast there, <laughs> unable to make it to first. Oh, but Waluigi with the bomb. Yoshi went for the tongue, but unfortunately, not even Yoshi's tongue is long enough to catch that. Oh, we're gonna see the defensive switch up. Luigi is able to come back in here. It looks like that's exactly what we'll be seeing. As Luigi is back in, getting limber, ready to pitch. Red Critter's posted up. Gonna hit that one right to Yoshi. It's gonna be out at first. Advances Waluigi to second, but with two outs, it's gonna be tough to get anything done here. Waluigi thinks about stealing third, but. Uh-oh, Waluigi is lost right now. That's going to be out at third. Waluigi got a little too ahead of himself there. And now we're going into the seventh inning. Tied ball game. So a team's going to have to score some points here. We're going to extra innings. 
It looks like we'll be seeing Waluigi come back in. Very smart for the spitballs. Do not want to allow a run here. And Waluigi gonna be a jarring transition going from Wario to Waluigi. So it's gonna be rough for the fireballs to get something done, but they may be able to. And Dixie with the hit, but oh, Wario misses! Dang, Wario's been popping off from that position, but a rare miss from him. And if we do go to extra innings, Waluigi's gonna have to sit out the eighth. Oh, but Dixie gonna be able to steal second. That's big. No outs. Dixie on second. Nope. I think we're gonna be changing the controls real quick. <laughs> Never mind. We're gonna be changing the defense. That's what it was. Oh, could we be seeing? Honestly, don't know what we're seeing here, but it's like just a little defensive switch up for the infield. Gonna be the quick ball from all region. Tiny Kong's been known to get some pretty good base hits. Oh, can we be witnessing one? We might be. Dixie Kong is going home, and that's going to be score for Dixie Kong. That is huge for the fireballs. Unless the spitballs can answer next inning. The fireballs have got this game. <laughs> Red Critter was depressed after that one. Red Critter thought he was so close to finally beating the fireballs this season, but beating the fireballs has not been something the spitballs have been able to do in season two. So we'll see if... Oh! Looks like we're going to see Green Mesh Cooper coming. Fresh off of that beautiful catch in the outfield. He will be taken out from the outfield. Onto the mound. Oh, and he's just going to be throwing mobs. He does not want to allow any runs here. Yeah. Green Magic Koopa just going to keep lobbing those up. Those are extremely difficult to hit. And we really only see this strategy whenever a team is in desperation. And yeah, Luigi just going to bump that one over to Wario. Yeah. Luigi just going to end our suffering for us. Oh, and Green Magic Koopa looks like he's tired after that. It was very exhausting throwing... Six lobs up in the air. <laughs> and unless the spitballs answer here, game one of the series goes to the fireballs. Oh, Blue Magic Koopa gets the base hit. That's huge. Oh, and he's going. Oh, he thought about going second. Wise decision to stay back on first. And Luigi going to be a little tired, so just in case the... Spitballs do score here, and we go to extra innings. Luigi will have to sit in a beautiful hit from Wario. That's going to be two runners on base with no outs. A huge chance for the Spitballs. <laughs> Looks like Luigi will be coming out. Yeah, we got the double Yoshi posted up on shortstop and second. And we got Mario at the mound. Now let's see. Oh, looks like we're going to see a steal. Stealing third. Oh, he's going home. <laughs> he thought about going home real quick, but... That did not end up happening. They did get the out at first, but they advanced their runners to third and second, and that could be huge. K. Rule needs a bomb right here, but unfortunately he's going to strike out, and that's going to be two outs. A base hit here could give the Spitballs the game. Looks like he thought about stealing home, but unfortunately the bump was going to be a foul. And no, that is going to be caught by Luigi, and the Fireballs will take game one of this series. A very close game. Unfortunately, Brown Critter just unable to bunt that. Most of the Critter's bunts do end up being popped out. That's going to be a very great win. And looks like Mario is going to be the MVP. So let's take a look at those box scores. Dang! Green Magic Koopa with the 40 in fielding going to be the MVP. And yet Green Magic Koopa actually had a higher score than Mario did. So Green Magic Koopa was the MVP for the game, but even Green Magic Koopa putting in overtime couldn't get the win for the Spitballs. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for Game 1 of the Fireballs Spitball Series. And I am Peyton Adams, signing off.